Okay, so on to the next Skip the Line reaction. This is Hua Shenyu Heaven, and this has been requested by Gaza Cage. Now, interesting story. This is a, a performance on a game show called The Next, apparently, and apparently it was Hua Shenyu plus three other uh, contestants that had to take professional singer songs and rearrange them um, to make it their own and uh, to go up against the professional singers and to see how they stood up. Now, Hua Shenyu apparently rearranged Tengas, we actually reacted to that. That was my last reaction. It was uh, requested by Michael Rader. Um, he rearranged Tengas' uh, rendition of Heaven, which was the original song. And this is now Hua Shenyu's piece, uh, completely rearranged. So I'm very, very intrigued to see what this is about because that song was absolutely beautiful, right? Um, right, so yeah, so this is Skip the Line. If you guys want to request Skip the Lines, you can do that on the Fable Sphere. The form opens up every Sunday. And uh, that comes at a cost, but if you want to just join the sphere as an access plan and have um, extra content to watch, uh, that comes at a very small cost per month. It's $2.70. Um, the link for all of that is down in the pinned comment. And uh, if you don't want to do any of that, you can just join the Fable community, and that's completely free, and you can interact with myself and the Cucumber Squad over there. Let's get straight into this, man. Who is Shen Yu's rendition of Tengri's Heaven? Let's rock and roll. Very intrigued to see what he does with this. Already the instrumentation's different. Hey, I might like this one. <laughs> This more though. Uh, look, Tigris is good though, but I don't know. I don't know if it's something about Hua Shen Yu that just gets me. There's something about his just there's something about his aura, there's something about his presence, his personality, there's something about the way he sings that just gets in that just gets into your heart. Uh, it gets into your soul, man. I mean, we've only just started this and I can really I already am feeling completely different to the way I felt with Tengri's, even though Tengri's is beautiful. Like I only really started feeling goosebumps when we got to the chorus of Tengri's. And this is like, as he starts singing, I don't know if it's just because of his, like, there's something about him, man. There's something about him. I, I can't explain it. Exact words. Let's see, what, let's see what he does with this chorus. it man he really really does but i have to be honest i have to be honest leading up to the chorus part i thought his was better when he hit the chorus part i i, I must be honest tengri's like just feels like it's got so much more power in it like he almost like when he goes it's like you can just the raspiness of his voice like you could see he was just he felt this right He's made this, he's, what he's done over here is he's taken a bit of rawness out of the chorus to sort of make it more flowy and more, more sort of classical, right? 
But what I liked about Tengri's is that that chorus was raw. You could feel it was raw. You could feel that this is the way he felt, right? Where here I kind of feel like he softened it a bit, which is still beautiful, still very beautiful. And I guess he has to make it his own. But Tengri's, Tengri's on the chorus hit harder, personally. <laughs> I like the instrumentation as well. softened that chorus quite a lot he's softened he's made it his own which i absolutely love i love i love the in-betweens of the, of the choruses before the choruses right i think i think it's 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 more subtle right it's more beautiful it's more it, it feels more mystical right but that chorus for me again tengri's just it was it, it's one of that that rawness that hits you straight in the heart you can see it's like that actually meant something that made something dear to him, right? And uh, I, actually, you know, who are saying you actually softening it a bit? Um, I think works quite well for his personality and the way he delivers, right? I, I honestly think that um, him taking that approach as, a go, as opposed to going a bit more aggressive like Tengri um, suits, suits his style more personally. <laughs> Is this what they call amateur singers on that side of the world? <laughs> if this is what an amateur singer is, oh good God, <laughs> don't even come to the West. Oh God. <laughs> good Lord. Is this what you call an amateur singer? <laughs> God damn, this sounds, like a, this sounds like a professional to me. <laughs> Let's go. Beautiful, man. What I can say about the two things, I think if I had to sum it all up, Hua Shenyu gave that piece a younger feel. It gave, he gave that piece more like a modernized, younger soul to it, where Tengri gave it more of a traditional, old school uh, um, um, element to it. Do you know what I mean? So I think... 
or what Hyo Shenyu did over here is he just modernized um, that piece of music and delivered it so beautifully in his own way. But if I'm going to, if I'm going to re-listen to, like, let's say if, I, if I'm going to like listen to another one again and again and again, I'm gonna stick with the wise old man because it felt like that 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 was the original, and it was the original for a reason, right? And you could you you could feel it. You could feel why, essentially. So. Um, beautifully done and like i said if this is what they call amateurs um on that side of the world then yeah we got something to learn on this side of the world i love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you on the next one peace